Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Webflux Essentials and let's continue the topic about exceptions. What we are trying to achieve in this video is to have a nice JSON body that could be easily parsed in the, the client. So for that we have to do a couple of things. First we have to define a global exceptional handler. For that let's just create a new package here where we are going to define our global exceptional handler global exceptional exception handler you can give any name you want and this class needs to extend the abstract error web exceptional handler and that is one catch the webflex has the implementation default error web exception handler being used out of the box and this one has the order of minus one this means that if we want our handler to take priority we have to come first so minus two that should be enough for us and you can add here add component and i think that should be enough so that is uh one method that we need to provide implementation get routing uh, function and we have to create a constructor that will match super so there is one thing that we have to add to this constructor uh, i will let it blow and then i will come back to it later so the routing function we will have to tell for which kind of uh, http protocols you would like to apply this route this global exceptional handler i have to apply for all of them so i will use router functions dot uh, route and i will tell here request predicates dot all and then the second one it's a handler you can see here that uh, it's asking this server response this is a handler function and we can uh, create another method for that this method will return a mono what's expecting there that's the server response and uh, we can just give it a name format error response and here server request request okay now we have to get the error attributes that we want to, to send so basically if we return a server response the first thing is the status so where is this attribute so we can get this attribute from this uh, request basically since we are extending this abstract error exception handler we have this error attributes and inside these error attributes we have these get error attributes so we do have some default error uh, available for us and we are going to use uh, those ones so just uh, call get error attributes send a request and here uh, we have these error attribute options what kind of error attribute options you would like to have included so there is a couple options here i will show you first the default ones so uh, we do have these error attributes we can call it error attributes uh, map and i know that inside this error attributes map uh, i do have the, the status so we can get this status let me think uh, we can use optional dot off nullable otherwise intellij will complain error properties map dot get status or else so if we don't have any status the problem is a bit more serious than what we are expecting so we just create here a int status to get that value okay so we can use this status there and then we can set the content type the content type will be application json and the body we have to insert body inserters dot from value and error properties map so the problem will happen now when we try to restart this application 
oops let me just call this one here because we are missing some codecs so let's just start with uh, the spring webflux essential application okay so you can see the we have no being named for this one import registry so this error is a bit weird this is not we are looking for Yeah, this is the, the problem, this message writers. So we can add the, the constructor to the constructor, uh, the server codec configurer. And you just add here this dot set message. We just need the message writers. Configurer, codec configurer dot get writers so just by doing this now we do have some value that will be used internally by webflux so just start the, the application again it should work okay it worked now i will go here and then uh, i will refresh and this is what we were looking for so this body is what we were expecting from the, the message the problem is the stack trace here is not working, so it doesn't matter if you send this uh, trace true or not. We do have this exception here, just to get rid of this exception, because it's not actually an exception, it's just a 404 that we are have all the control over it. So just go to the service and you kill this log, or either send this log here. Mm, I think... Uh, it will just show, yeah, we don't need this log. Okay, so what we are trying to achieve here, we would like to see the stack trace as well. So how can we do that? Remember that I said that we do have some options available here. So we can call off and then we can use this include.stackTrace and you do have some options as well. So exception, message, binding errors. So let's add the stack trace, refresh the the application I'm just restarting and now I will remove this trace true and as you can see now we do have the trace attribute even if we set the trace to true or the trace to false or if we don't send we don't have but we can do a quick business logic to have this trace available there so i uh, think that's it for this class in the next one let's uh, continue by seeing how we can configure another kind of how can we add more attributes to this uh, json so see you in the next video bye